Okay, we're back here live in Las Vegas. This is uh, HP Discover, and this is where all the action is happening for HP. This week, this is day three of three days of wall-to-wall -wall live coverage at SiliconANGLE's theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise, cloud, mobile, security, big data, all that is the core pillars of HP, and uh, a lot of it's changing. Big data, a lot of, lot of, lot of needs available. Experts are needed, and uh, that's what we're going to drill into this segment. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co-host, Hi everybody, I'm Dave Vellante from wikibon.org. Rebecca Harvey is, is here. She is the worldwide director of, of product for HP's Expert One. We're Rebecca, we're looking at your booth <laughs> all week here. Yes. Uh, awesome, you guys are involved in, in well, why don't you tell us about okay. you know, the, the organization and what sure. you guys are doing. Sure, so HP's Expert One program is really designed for IT professionals wherever they are in their career. Uh, whether they're brand new students who are interested in IT who are coming into the workforce or people who have been in the industry for a very long time. Uh, we have, uh, if you think about it as a pyramid, we have a registration level where people can just come in, get access to information, learn a little bit about the uh, uh, HP's products and solutions, white papers, download videos, all kinds of things. Um, and then moving up into training, which is the, the formal training available from HP Education, Cert uh, HP Education Services and our training partners. They really look at um, what are the skills that customers and partners are looking for, and then on up at the top of the pyramid is our, our certification portfolio. We have about 150 certifications that cover the depth and breadth of HP's product portfolio and solutions. Rebecca, we want to spend the next 10 minutes here inside the cube sure. to get, get down and dirty on some of the hardcore trends that we see as the most demand. We've had a lot of interviews this past two days mm -hmm. with top executives at HP and, sure. and experts and customers, and, and obviously big data, the cloud, and security are all in big demand. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's a variety of different examples out there with other companies where expertise is needed, where in some cases we have to be deployed, whether mm -hmm. engineer resources, whether it's Hadoop, right. or, and we had the services guys in, there's a lot of activity going on. What are some of the challenges uh, that, that you're hearing from customers around some of these experts, uh, expertise? Mm -hmm. I know you guys do a lot of talk about expertise, because innovation is what people want to yes. talk about. Yes. And that's sometimes speeds and feeds mm -hmm. and some underlying architectures, mm -hmm. but really it's about solutions. So right. how do you guys cross over from tech, platform, big data, all that mm -hmm. stuff, to the solution side, mm -hmm. where there's a lot of demand for expertise? Yeah, yeah. I think we do that in a number of ways, because our program is really focused around the job roles. And so when you think about you know, somebody who has to architect the solution, it's not about architecting a network solution or a server solution or storage. It's, it's about converged infrastructure and the ability to pull all the elements together and create that converged solution. Um, if you think about an integrator, an integrator has very different skills that they might need or an administrator. And earlier this, this week I spent uh, some really good time with some customers, CIOs, VPs, um, directors of IT who really said, one of their challenges is this generalist role because we've developed in the industry so many of these very siloed, deep technical skill set and they really are looking for generalists who, who know how to tie everything together. So that's one of the ways that we look at our program. We say if you're you know, networking certified, what's your next step to move into so to cross training. infrastructure? Cross training so is absolutely critical. So people are there's some need for specialism, yes. but also yes. having being general, the generalist, actually not mm -hmm. a bad thing either. Right, right. And you know, it's interesting some of the really innovative things that our customers are doing around the cross training internally. So they're not necessarily even looking to formal programs to help them, but they're doing job sharing or they're, um, you know, doing job uh, role changes. So somebody has to spend a week in support. So they understand a little bit about what the, the dynamics of those challenges are. It's very challenging. I can imagine how to productize these things because you're talking about a lot of different technologies. So I got to ask the, the product question since sure. you run product management. <laughs> how do you productize this and sell it to customers? What are they buying? Is it a menu of services? Is it packages? I think Is it's a it... little bit of both. It's educational consulting, right? So they want to look at their unique requirements. Um, and it's also looking at the, the certifications that are going to best map to what it is they need. So, can you talk about, Rebecca, the balance between, on the content side, mm -hmm. the curriculum, if mm -hmm. you will, between very specific HP product, mm -hmm. uh, mentioned converged infrastructure, and I want to figure out how to sure. exploit this three power array, whatever it is, sure. versus sort of the discipline of, say, for instance, being a cloud architect, or you know, doing something in the big data field. Help mm -hmm. us understand 
sort of the nature of the content? Sure. So it really depends on the level of the individual who's coming into the program. So if it's a foundational level, it's really technology introductions. And it's we view those as sort of powered by HP, right? It's a network is a network is a network. And, and we teach people on HP networking gear, but... Could be pretty much anything. Could be pretty much anything. If you move up that stack then into the ASE level, there's a little bit more deep technical skills, the things that you need to know to architect a, a real solution, right? And at the master ASE level, it is these big solutions. It's big data, it's security, it's um, data center and cloud, right? Okay, so... So, so we, we've, we move them up the stack from more technical foundations, technical, deep technical skills, and up into the solution areas. So that, that MSE you called it? Yes, uh, that's Master AC. Master, okay, so that's big data. Um, security. Security, cloud, cloud. And, and that's it. We also have a networking and a storage in that space as networking well. storage, okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the point where it gets very specific? Very or? solutions oriented. Okay, specific to HP. Yes. Okay, and, and now talk about who delivers the content, how people get certified, the partner ecosystem, discuss that a little bit. Sure, so we you know, we start with competency models and we bring customers into those events, we bring partners into those events, HP subject matter experts, and we say, you know, what are the skills that are gonna be needed in this area in the next you know, 12 to 24 months? And we create a competency model and then we design the courseware from there. So that courseware is very tightly aligned to what the experts have told us is needed. Um, the, the courseware then is anywhere from you know three days to five days uh, at that high level um, because it is very solutions focused. They have most of it is hands on, ninety percent of it's hands on. They're given a customer scenario, and they're told go go architect the solution or go figure out how to integrate the solution um, or, or administer it. Uh -huh. Rebecca, you know one of the things I want to ask you because since you're here, given what world you're in. Um, we're actually doing the cube, which is social mm -hmm. media. You guys have a lot of video, and we, 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 we notice a lot of <laughs> filming going on there. But also, there's books, right? HP mm -hmm. Press, and a lot of uh, you know that's been going uh -huh. on for for years, decades, and <laughs> hundreds of years. People write books right. and distribute paper. Right now, it's online. Yes. You have real time information, social mm -hmm. networks. Right. Um, how is that changing your business in terms of getting the word out, creating a community, and those sure, things? Sure, sure. So we have HP Press, which, like everyone, we have print books, but we also okay. have e-books available. Um, we have huge communities within LinkedIn, within uh, you know Elance job boards, board community. Um, there's all kinds of communities where people are sharing knowledge and sharing best practices, um, putting problems out there, saying, "Hey, how would you fix this?" And and people are really contributing to that conversation. That's part of the Expert One community. When we talk about it, not just being about certifications, it's about knowledge and skills and community. And a lot of people sharing information yes. with each other, so it's yes. not just a one-directional uh, way. Yep. What are some of the things that surprise you in, in the, as that as that world's just evolving? Mm -hmm. I mean, Facebook just uh, implemented hashtags yeah, just did. yesterday, they so I mean, this is how early it is. So yeah. this whole new online communities uh -huh. are connecting with each other. What is what's surprised you about this new world? Uh, well, think, how people connecting? I think one of the things that's interesting to me is because you know we have used to have listservs and online forums, right? And they you had to have a moderator and you bumped people out if they were being rude or if they were, that's gone. That, that whole arena is gone, it feels like. Um, people can go out, say anything, and, and they, you know, you have to kind of take everything with a grain of salt. I think OpenStack actually does a great job of this with their digital badge community. People vote on how they like the response. Was it a good response? Was that technician able to answer my question appropriately? Uh, and, then you have, and, then, and then you have flash mobbing, right? Yeah. People can always start their own groups. <laughs> That's I mean, true. Open, open source, I mean, you know, we were talking about um, Apache, yeah. how that started. Now, it's so big, yeah. anyone can start an open source project. Mm -hmm. So, in a way, knowledge is becoming open source. Yes. How do you guys harness that? Is there a way? Are people <laughs> not yet working on it? No, 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 we're working on it. I think part of it is the communities, right? We identify some of our subject matter experts, our, our greatest um, advocates. We look at the people who are in, in really involved in our community, and we pull those in, those folks into our item design workshops. So they help us create our exams. They help us create the courseware to some extent. Um, so that's the way that we, we probably address it the most um, immediately. Sh share with folks the, any information on how to get involved and websites and social yep. media coordinates. HP.com forward slash expert one. And it has all the information about contact us, program Vide Videos elements, are available on there as well. Videos, web-based training. Yep, yep. We have a very active social media manager who drives. He just made it onto HuffPost not too long ago, so. 
that's, I guess that's a good thing. I, you know? I guess in social <laughs> yeah. media terms, people yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, no, LinkedIn <laughs> posts is like the, you know, the New York Times of social yeah. media. Yes. Well, that's where they want to be. But, you know, yeah. a, lot, a lot of volume there, a lot of access. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so on the e-books, what are the most popular e-books that you have right now? You know, our cloud, uh, cloud computing beyond the hype is uh, very popular. We announced it last year. It's probably one of our best sellers. Um, actually, our exam guides, some of the old school stuff. Yeah. Is, is very popular and, and does very well because people don't always have time to take time out of the office to do training. And, uh, you know, IT professionals kind of condition themselves to self-study. How about um, some of the hot topics in terms of OpenStack? You mentioned OpenStack. That's obviously a mm -hmm. hot topic. You do anything with those guys at all? Uh, we are not, as of right now, no, no. from a certification perspective. Okay, so HP certainly is. Okay, yeah, so we're watching that area closely. Like you said, you know, props to, to that community for the ranking. Absolutely. But, but that community is growing very, very fast it is. and it very is. authoritative. And yes. there's a lot of new skills being developed mm -hmm. there. What okay. one skill would you highlight right now if you had to summarize? Maybe three, do a top three okay. skills that are relevant in today's big trend. I mean, not the, you know, kind of the most relevant, not the most important, but like in today's HP Discover, what are the top three? I think the, the most important one is for the IT professionals to take a more business-oriented approach. Understanding what it is their businesses want and need from IT and figuring out how to deliver on that. So, you know, that includes everything from someone who's entry level, understanding how to read a financial spreadsheet, understanding the basics of business, right? Somebody who's at an intermediate level in their, in their professional career, um, understanding what their business owners concerns are and challenges are, right? Um, and at the master level, it's designing the solutions that are going to work for business and to be able to have that conversation. So, you know, we have we have a master architect um, data center and cloud credential program, which is a board review program. And the people that we, we want to bring into that program are the ones who feel like when they go to present to a CIO, they've got to bring in 17 people to back them up. We want them to be able to come in, present the solution themselves, cost justify the solution, um, and explain in real business terms what that really means. Well, big data is driving that trend too. Absolutely. I mean, that's, you know, you're seeing more analytics, much more yes. business oriented dashboards. Yes. Well, what about disciplines like, um, let's, well, I got two examples for you. I just want to see if there's a fit here. Let's say I'm out, 28 to 35 years old, mm -hmm. um, and I've uh, been a network admin, maybe it was a VMware admin. Sure. I'm saying, I kind of want to be a cloud architect. Right. Can you help me? Yes, absolutely right. we can help you. Great, so you have you know, courseware yes. that can help me get certified to become that cloud architect so that I can go to my management and say, hey, I'm ready right. you know, for that promotion. But, right. you know, okay, how about now, the other example, I'm, I'm thinking John mentioned big data. How about things like data scientists? Is that something that you've started to look at? It is something we've started to look at. I'm not going to say we've cracked the code by any means. I don't know that anyone has. Um, it really is a, a job role that is um, becoming very critical, very quickly. So that's something we might see from you guys here in the... I think that's a fair guess. Barcelona, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> maybe not that soon, but fair guess. Okay, good. Rebecca, thanks for coming on the queue. We've got some time. We're up on a time limit here, but I want to get your final sound bite. Big trend for next year that you're watching closely that's evolving quickly. Um, that's going to probably come into the fold for expert one. What do you? What's on the radar that... Uh, kind of just popping its head out, it's emerging. Uh, he just nailed it. Data science? Yes. Okay, yeah, no, we, <laughs> awesome. Data science, Rebecca, thanks for coming. Go to expert1, hp.com slash expert1. Um, there's a huge demand for skill training online. You're seeing things both online and offline, very successful opportunity to get cross-trained, um, and uh, this real big focus. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Uh, we'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. <laughs>